hello my loves I'm going to be doing a video today using these products and I'm going to start off by using the Tarte sunscreen slash face lotion I love this stuff because it is specifically for the face and I like to apply this using a foundation brush and I'll use this just to smooth everything out and blend it all over my face For those of you who do love to use makeup, guys, try to always use SPF to protect your face from any spotting, um, you know, aging, and just there's so many lotions and stuff that you can use for your face, and I feel like it's very important to always protect your face and keep it as healthy and refreshed as you possibly can. So this is why I'm going. This is why I was using sunblock. Next, I'm going to be applying my foundation, guys, and I'm using the Ulta Demi Demi Matte Foundation. And I just purchased this foundation about two weeks ago, and I've used it, I think, twice. I do love it. I love the color. It matches really perfectly with my skin. The only thing is sometimes it does make my face look a little bit dry, but for the most part, it does its job and gives me a nice coverage. And I'm using the same foundation brush that I used to apply my sunscreen. I'm using this as well just to blend everything together and make sure there's no harsh lines. And as you see throughout the whole video guys, I'm going, all I'm going to be using is coming back to the same foundation brush to just define everything, clean it up, and make sure everything looks smooth, even, and flawless. I do have to use about two pumps per half the face with this foundation. I've had other foundations where two pumps goes a long way and it covers mo most of my face. Okay, so just blend, blend, blend. Always drag it down to the neck. Make sure your face and your neck are the same colors. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be using is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20. This is about one shade lighter than my skin. I don't like something super, super, super bright because I'm going for a more natural look. And I like to apply this in a triangle uh, shape under my eyes. And then I'm going to be using my new Maybelline Blending Sponge. I just purchased this as well, it's my first time using it and I love it, love it, love it. It helps me get into the corners, um, like between the eye and the nose, things that are kind of hard to use, especially when your foundation is already done. This would be the perfect tool for that. Okay. And I like to pat down my concealer, that way I don't remove too much product. And the next thing that I'm going to be using is my Ofra Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Brown. And I'm just going to be lightly stroking the pencil on, the, on my eyebrows. I don't like something too dramatic, so I'm doing some light strokes to create some false hair and give it a more fuller look. Just keep in mind guys, if you guys have a light hand, your eyebrows will look a little bit more natural and a little bit smoother. So if you're going for a natural look, always use a light hand. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to be taking is a jumbo highlighter pencil. I don't know the name of it guys, um, but I'm just going to be applying this in the brow bone to give my eyebrows more definition. And if you guys want a video, a more in-depth video on how I do my eyebrows, just leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get onto that. Alright, 
now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to move on to the face and I'm going to be using my Tarte Contour Palette. I love this thing, it's such a beautiful palette. I'm going to be using the bronzer color in the shade 3 and 4 and I'm going to apply this to the hollow parts of my cheek just to give it a more defined look. And I'm using just a normal bronzer brush. just like that then I'm going to get another actually I'm going to get my foundation brush one more time just to make sure that the bronzer is nice and clean and then I'm going to be taking a blush brush and I'm going to be using this and putting the blush from the palette as well and putting it on the apples of my cheeks and blending it in with the bronzer then I'm going to take my foundation brush and clean everything up. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Ofra blush stripes and I'm going to be using this as a highlight. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. highlighter brush. I love this brush, guys. I got it from Target. They're $3. Good quality. I would suggest it. I would suggest actually any e.l.f. brush. I love them. They are my favorite. And this is what I'm going to be using. And I'm going to be applying it to the high parts of my cheeks, to the center of my nose, and my cupid's bow. brush one more time to just make sure everything looks nicely cleaned and even. So next I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush and a soft brown eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this to the crease in my eyes and since I want just a natural look guys this is all I'm going to be applying to the eyes and this is just going to give the eyes a more um, how do you say a more oh god oh my gosh guys I can't talk A more intense look. So just keep it in the crease. The brush will do its work. You just use a light hand, soft strokes back and forth. And you can use any soft color that you like, guys. curler I love 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 this thing guys it's so beautiful it is limited edition so you can go check I got mine on Sephora try to see if they still have it because I would highly recommend it guys it's beautiful who doesn't love shiny stuff right then I'm gonna be using my light camera flash mascara from Tarte as well I'm just going to be giving myself a few coats because I'm going to be applying some falsies Okay, 
so now the other eye, just a few coats. Okay, and once you are done with the top lashes, guys, do not, do not, do not forget the bottom lashes. They need to be remembered as well. And for me, without applying mascara to my bottom lashes, it, my makeup just doesn't feel complete. All right. So now I'm going to be applying my falsies. While I was applying my mascara, I had already poured the lash glue onto a little palette just to let the lash glue get tacky, guys. If you guys are new to applying lashes, always, always remember that you have to leave let your glue get tacky for a little bit, a few 30 seconds, I would suggest, because if not, you're just going to be pressing your eyelashes against your, your eyes and they're not going to stick. Okay, so right now I'm just applying the lash glue onto the lashes. And then the way I like to apply this is I like to stretch my eye and then using some tweezers just apply it slightly on where you want them to be. And using my index finger and my thumb, I like to squeeze the falsies onto my normal lashes just to make sure everything is nicely put together. Okay, just like that guys and then you're gonna do the same thing to the other one and like I said guys if your glue is tacky enough it's gonna be really easy to just put on the eyelashes okay so just stretch your eye Place the false lashes onto the crease and try to get it as close to the lash line that you possibly can. Okay, so last but not least, the lipstick. I'm going to be using a Maybelline Nude Lipstick because like I said, I wanted to keep this a very natural look. And after you apply the lipstick, the look is almost finished. I'm just going to be using my e.l.f. Mist to just set everything in place. I'm just going to spray this all over my face. And that is it guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!